Hello YouTube, uh, welcome back to my tutorial. In my earlier tutorial, I was talking about uh, a program in Linux uh, using which we can extract any text from an image. Okay, so in this tutorial, I will talk about the same thing which is extracting any kind of text from an image, but that we will do in Python using the Python language how we can extract any text. So, uh, like like Linux, uh, we also uh, need a module in Python called uh, Tesseract, uh, PyTesseract, which is there in Python also. So, all you have to do is you have to install this module called PyTesseract. Okay, so if you go to your Python prompt and if you type help, you will you can list out the modules which are there. Okay, so you have to make sure that uh, that module is present in your Python package. If it is not there, then <coughs> you have to install it. So uh, I was just checking. Okay, here you see this is the module that we need by Tesseract. And also, as we are doing the image processing, so we need this uh, this uh, image library P I L. Okay, yeah. Python image library. So yeah, we have all these things. So if you don't have this, what you have to do is you have to install it. <coughs> PIP install, PIP installer. I'm sorry, PIP installer. And then you have to install. Uh, what do you call? Uh, PIP install, and then the package name which is uh, which is uh, PyTesseract okay and then also you have to install pil right so you have to run this command as well as i'm sorry i this is already there in my system so probably i don't need to do it okay so uh, anyway if it is not there you can install it right okay another thing that you have you need to install is you need to install the program so a python image library which is pil so this also you have to install fine so once you have these all modules present in your python okay now you can start with the image processing so let's say uh, we have a program we have an image and we want to extract text out of it so we'll just write a simple program okay let's say image to text dot .py okay so we'll start with this uh, shebang line Okay, yeah. So what we have to do is we have to uh, as we are doing the image processing, so we need the image class. Okay, so we do will not I will not import the entire library. I will simply uh, import uh, the image class. And also, we need this uh, uh, image to string function from from PyTesseract right so we'll import image to string right so we are all set we are done with the imports now what we have to do is we have to open an image okay we can specify an image okay so either you can uh, uh, take it from the input uh, we can run a command like enter the image name or something like that or you can specify <coughs> the image and you can hard code the image inside in the script okay right so we are giving an image let's say i have it in my home shanky pictures and then anything yeah i mean let's say i have it, this one image let's say sexy dot not sure it is JPEG or what it is. Should be uh, yeah, it's JPG. Fine. So we are taking this image, right? Okay. So we will uh, return. It will return the image uh, attribute. Yeah. So now what we will do is we will use this image which which is open. To convert into the string right okay so uh, image 
underscore two underscore string so uh, we'll use this image which we have opened and simply we can put this much this it should be enough and it will definitely return a uh, text so we will say text okay so we will return it is returning a text equal to this and then we can print the text right i think this should be it let's try to run it then we will see we we'll try to understand it later image text image text okay more or less no ob okay there is some syntactical error yes n obviously how about now okay so we are running the command okay we are running the script so you can see it is exactly printing the text which is there in the image so this is my image the text is sexy so I, it is printing exactly the same if you see it cannot be exact word let us see you see who and that there is a pipe operator but it is printing capital i so you know it is <coughs> it is uh, you have to be the background should be uh, very uh, completely black and black or white or there should be a very high resolution or this could be the reasons uh, it will not print the exact letters but yeah you can see it is here also grep minus i it is printing one okay so there are some uh, you know noise okay uh, but if you uh, if your image is accurate and uh, there is no noise there is no if it is of high resolution there is only two colors this is black and white and proper depth then the, the text which is extracted is proper okay so what what else you can do is this is very basic i want to tell you and you can uh, you know modify it as per your own choice so this image to string suppose uh, several languages okay it supports uh, many languages uh, to extract text so by default it is giving english okay so if you if you, if you want to specify you can also specify manually a language that you want so if there are chinese characters or korean characters or italian characters you can specify that okay so this is how this will also print the same thing right yeah so yeah so this this is all uh, a very basic example how we can extract text from an image okay so if you want to know more on this you, what you can do is you can go to the help okay and you can read out every every details about it for example if you are uh, if you want to look uh, if you want to look about this uh, image underscore two underscore string function so you can do like this to help and then any any emoji you want to know help about just uh, import it and then type help and then that module name you see uh, this is a function which is used it is present in pytesseract.pytesseract run tesseract on the specified image for the image is written to a disk which is what we did with the opening uh, method and then the tesseract command is used on the image okay so so it has this language option plus it has also this config option okay so this is config to psm6 okay this is another, another attribute that you can use okay so this is how you can extract text from an image okay so let's try to run it one more time with some another image how about this one let me see if it is working fine on this one because there is a little bit different kind of an image okay so funks.jpg let's try this so as i told you right you can either uh, hard code the uh, hard code the image name or you can uh, take it as an input okay so what is it function f u n c s dot g p yeah let's try to execute it okay so you see it is giving me i 
output this is giving me the correct output user defined functions yeah exactly so this is how you can ex uh, so you see there is a little bit of difference d g instead of e it is printing g so there could be little bit of uh, problem okay uh, but 99% will give you the correct result so that's all guys uh, I hope you like this and uh, keep watching and subscribe my channel thanks for watching bye bye